Today is a very exciting day because today I'm going to review a modded car I wanted for a very, very long time. Ever since I saw the 2021 Turkish Grand Prix with the one off livery Red Bull used, I knew I had to get this modded car. And luckily today is the day it came in the middle and I wanted to review this modded car first because I absolutely love it. And I think this is one of the best Formula One one off livery we, we've ever seen. I mean, I'm serious. I really like this livery. The original plan was to use this livery in the Suzuka Grand Prix in 2021. As we all know that Grand Prix was based basically cancelled, so they used it in the Turkish Grand Prix instead. But the modded car is not the only thing being white in this video, because I also have something new. This is actually a t-shirt Raceland sent out to me. Uh, it's actually a nice little comic shirt, and that's basically Tom Price's shadow car overtaking Niki Lauda. Uh, it's a nice little comic, and I think it's really appropriate for this video. This is actually sent out to me by Raceland.de. However, the stock is very limited. So by now you basically all know Raceland.de. However, they not only sell Formula One model cars, also 24 hours of Le Mans, 24 hours Nürburgring, 24 hours Spa and GT, touring cars, rally cars, and lots more. Uh, they also have an alternative to this model car, which is basically the Dutch GP version of the Red Bull RB16B. So if this is out of stock, you can still check out that one as well. It's the regular livery, but he has the yeah, very special Dutch helmet. That's basically Raceland.de, so thank you for sending this and this beautiful shirt out to me. I'll put a link in the description of this model car and this beautiful t-shirt uh, in the description down below. Uh, so thank you very much and uh, I hope you all enjoy the video. So yeah, here it is. And without further ado, let's get the Sullivan off and take a closer look at the box, shall we? Some uh, ASMR for you guys. A picture of the beautiful white variant of the Red Bull on top with a small uh, illustration of the circuit. Left upper corner we have a Spark 118 logo. In the right top corner we have a logo of Red Bull Racing. Right down corner we have the text that says Red Bull Racing Honda RB16B second place Turkish Grand Prix 2021 and a driver Max Verstappen. Take a look at the other side. Beautiful profile shot of the car. What I really like about Spark is one side has the front of the car and the other side has the back of the car. So yeah, let's uh, open it, shall we? All right, here it is. You take a peek first, all right? You tell me it's beautiful or not. <laughs> all right, keep calm. I need a drink. Wow, I mean, and this thing is breath taking. Talking about the livery itself, this livery is actually not new. Well, it is new for Red Bull because this livery, well, not, not the whole livery, but part of the livery actually dates back to the Honda RA272 from either 65 or 68. I'm not really sure about the date. And basically what made that livery very special is because I think it was the first race win in Mexico with an Honda engine. That's uh, basically a little history lesson about the motor car and delivery. Without further ado, let's start at the front wing and work our way back, shall we? So yeah, front wing, amazing design. And the top flaps of the front wing are very curved. The Red Bull letters on the front of the wing hasn't changed. Beautiful actually, it really pops against that white. You can see how these uh, flaps connect at the front with the half rings almost. Wing end plate is looking really nice. On the inside of the wing end plate, we have a sponsor that Checo Perez brings with him, which is basically Telcel. And at the outside of the wing end plate, we have Mobile One. Front of the wing, we basically see a very familiar slogan, hashtag we races one and via action road for safety. Front of the nose, we have a small little Red Bull Racing logo. And above that, a Honda logo, uh, which refreshing about the nose section. I'm not talking about the wing, but really the nose section of the car is that the front of the nose on the original car would be yellow, but this time it's white. Continue with the nose. Oh, shall we? We have a lot of little logos down there. We have again Mobile One, Finitium, Pirelli, Citrix, Tezos, and Oracle. One thing I really like about Red Bull's design, and I think the Ferrari also has something like this these tiny little flaps uh, at the front of the driver's cell. If you're watching new this season, Max Verstappen original race number is actually 33, uh, not number one. But I have a slight feeling that at the end of 22, he will remain number one. This is my first modern car with beautiful intermediate tires and the beautiful treads on there as well. And I must say, it looks absolutely stunning. I have to say it's a little bit of a mismatch with the car, of course, because there isn't any green on this car. And we can see the beautiful carbon fiber suspension. And just like always, this carbon fiber has a very nice texture as well. Anyway, let us continue with the front of the driver's cell. We have a beautiful antennas going on there. Then we have a beautiful 360 camera. And above that, again, a beautiful monotone colored logo of Honda and Tech Ewer, higher, however you pronounce it. At the side of the driver's cell, there is the sponsor Oracle. And Oracle would be a lot more prominent on the 2022 car. Then we get to the whole barge board section and we can see a logo of Rausch, Rausch, Rauch, however you want to call it. And that logo is always yellow on the original car. All right, then we get to the beautiful cockpit section. 
I have to say the cockpit section looks a little bit crowded uh, because they introduced these Cash App logos and I think Walmart logos. Yeah, Walmart logos as well. And on the original card, uh, the Cash App logo would be green and it didn't really suit the car at all. What I really like is the little gradient of dark bluish gray to white. That's actually pretty nicely done. Uh, usually you don't see a lot of gradients on Formula One cars. Usually it's a lot of sharp lines for aerodynamic looks. But then the driver figurine, the original plan was to only have original race suits, but eventually they agreed on having a special livery as well. Especially with Max's uh, white helmet. It's almost like this helmet was made for this uh, one of livery. Uh, we see some Japanese lettering on the right leg. Uh, steering wheel looking really nice as well. We have some reflective foil for the screen. That's actually a really nice touch. Side pods are actually incredibly small in this car. And what I really like about the barboard section actually is that all these little things are actually slotted. Throughout the video when lifting this model car, you can see the very, very aggressive rake on this Red Bull. You can see um, some uh, pillars underneath the car that's just to attach it to the base, but yeah, floor looking really crispy as well. A lot of different shark fins going on there. All right, let's go to the uh, intake of the car, shall we? This is a part which uh, is pretty much unchanged with the original Red Bull. I mean, I like the livery in general very, very much. Everything is in a beautiful white, uh, very dark blue, red color. Only thing which I'm not really sure if it fits the car all that well. Is this yellow part right here. Side pods is a little bit of getting used to because on the 2022 cars we see Oracle on side pods. But this year still uh, would have the original Red Bull logo. Above the uh, Red Bull logo, I would assume these Japanese characters would say Arigato. Uh, you can see the extreme bottleneck effect going on there. And it's beautiful to see how the uh, suspension integrates into the uh, side of the car. It's really beautiful to see. Rear wing wouldn't really change all that much. At the DRS lap, we have a big, huge Honda the logo these are the same japanese characters we see on the side of the car and this basically says arigato as well uh, exhaust looking really nice we see the waste line or the waste pipe i think it's called underneath there i'm not really sure if this car has this high of a rake because it was wet because top speed doesn't really matter in the wet anyway so they choose for optimum cornering speed last but not least we have this beautiful little plaque and that basically says red bull racing honda rb16b second place turkish grand prix 2021 and the driver is max for staff them, of course uh, that's basically uh, your model car and I'm happy I'm really I'm really happy about this model car because uh, like I said in this video before I mean ever since I saw the white Red Bull I have to get a 118 scale model car of that we also have a Sergio Perez variant he would finish third on that race and number one would actually be uh, Valtteri Bottas so yeah I sincerely hope you get the chance to get one if you if you want to yourself so um, yeah that's basically my review of the white Arigato livery 118 scale by Spark that's basically it for this video uh, again Again, very quick let me know down in the comments below if you want to see a comparison between this and the original rb60b uh, so let me know down in the comments what you think of that idea if you like what i do consider liking and subscribing it keeps me motivated to make more videos for you guys really hope you enjoyed this beautiful white little uh, model car thank you very much and hope to see you in the uh, next video as well